welcome back to my channel. I am DG Tarot. My name is Stephanie and I'm going to be doing your Wild Wonderlust Wednesday reading today. I know that's a mouthful, um, but I used to do these and I want to kind of get back to that. Thanks so much to those who joined me for my Tea and Tarot on Monday. And um, if you have not already, I truly recommend that video for your uh, start to this week for Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, and where I also introduced my new decks that I have. So thanks guys so much. If you're new, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel just to um, support the channel. If you really, really resonate and you want to see more, make sure you hit notification bells. Um, also, I would like some more suggestions for the 3000 subscription um, challenge. What do you guys want to see me do um, for that challenge on this channel? What kind of reading, you know, free decks? Do you want, you know, uh, free readings, that kind of deal? Let me know what you like in the comments below or on my community board. So thanks so much for those returning. I appreciate the love, the continued support um, for all of you out there who have been there for me and who have been tuning into my channel. Um, so if you don't resonate, perfectly okay. Not everything will resonate. Just take what does, leave the rest out. And you can also always browse around the rest of my channel for more videos and readings. So I really appreciate you guys again. Hope everything is going well. Um, personalized, read personalized readings for those who have asked me. Um, again, those are still located on the Etsy link in the description below. Um, as well as to purchase the decks. They are only on sale um, on the channel, guys. These are on sale here, so make sure you get clip that code from the description box, from the comments, I'll have it located there, and take that on over to Etsy and you will use that coupon for your decks if you are interested. So let's go ahead and get started for this Wild Wednesday and um, we will see what's going on. Today we are again with the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Um, so this is going to be what your Divine Masculine is not telling you, okay? What are they not opening up about? What are their feelings towards you? Uh, how do they feel in the 5D? How do they feel in the 3D? Um, what is going on in their lives right now? And we will go from there. So Divine Masculine, please. What is going on? What are they not telling the Feminines? What is the Masculine not revealing to the Feminine? What is going on? Okay. So we have the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So that there is going to be your rapid action. They feel like they want to take action towards you. They feel like they want to get a movement on this, that your masculine wants to come towards you, okay, in a desirable, physical way. Um, but there's something blocking this. Um, could be a current situation going on for them. Um, Definitely what I'm seeing is that your masculine is holding back their feelings. They're holding back what, you know, is going on in their lives. For some reason, your masculine doesn't want you to know maybe the inner, what is going on inside them, okay? They're trying to hide that from you. But um, there is a nine of swords here and there's something going on where... You know, there's a lot of anxiety, there's a lot of stress, um, your masculine is feeling sad and, and just a lot of, you know, different emotions going on here, a lot of different energy and it's unbalanced. Um, but I feel like with time, we have temperance here, given time there will be some healing, um, but also the masculine will meet you in the middle. So given time, they will reveal these things to you, um, but we're going to find out why, like what's going on today, you know, why is the masculine hiding these things from you or what is this stress, what is this anxiety, um, why can't your masculine sleep at night, but also they feel this tension and desire for you. Um, with this Eight of Wands, and they want to move forward, but um, they're taking it slow, they're taking their time with temperance here because there's some kind of issue going on with your masculine in their minds and in their, um, <laughs> in their lives. And we have the Emperor, perfect, okay? This is your divine masculine, the protector, the provider. Um, the Emperor is... All of that masculine energy, everything that the masculine means and is, is tied up into this card here. And the masculine definitely 
needs to balance that out, but also is just pursuing you inside internally and in their thoughts and in their mind. And um, look at that. We're already getting some things falling out here. Um, so definitely the masculine is holding back on some things from you. They're definitely in your energy. They're thinking about you, you know, sending telepathic messages maybe. Um, but the emperor is all about that, you know, the masculine protector. They want to provide for you. They're protecting you from something. So your masculine is maybe protecting you from themselves or from a karmic situation or from whatever is going on inside of them. Page of Wands, flirtations, romantic beginnings, and secret admirers. So they are watching you from a distance. Your masculine is kind of secretly desiring you here. Maybe you don't know this. Um, they want a new start. A romantic beginning could begin here between the two of you to flirt with you, kind of, you know, um, warm you up <laughs> to them, I guess, is what you could say. And from the other one we got em the emperor now we get the empress deep love nurture and divine feminine so they are really really in your energy too okay they're really feeling that um they they want that feminine warmth they want that feminine touch um you know definitely want to connect to you um and you're very much in their energy so that they feel that deep love here, and you both have a deep love for each other. What's the divine masculine not telling the feminine? All right. Ooh. Here we have um, Ace of Swords, aligning goals, increase power, new ideas, and plans. So the masculine is not telling you that they're making plans. They have this new inspiration. It's funny, we have new romantic beginnings. Um, these flirtations, the masculine is just not telling you that they're making some plans here when it comes to you. They have some ideas about the future, um, but they're also aligning their goals and increasing that mental clarity, mental power for themselves, maybe to take that action to get that courage. Also, there is a divine intervention energy here with the tower, separation, breakups, and destruction. So the masculine is not telling you that there are some things kind of crumbling down in their lives right now. There are some things that they once believed, some a relationship they once thought was this incredible, you know, relationship, but there were some blinders, there were some illusions going on. Um, and the masculine just didn't reveal that to you, which is why they blocked you, which is why they ghosted you, which is why there's a separation, but total tower destruction moment here for their lives, a divorce, a separation, a, a breakup of some kind, um, or just strictly that divine intervention that steered this connection towards another direction because your masculine had to heal themselves, had to learn some more lessons um, before you guys could truly come together as one. All right, so let's do our Twin Flame Separation Love Oracle for Divine Masculine. What is Masculine not telling the feminine? Masculine not telling the feminine. So if you guys saw <laughs> Lonely, I feel so lost without you. So they want you nearby, want you close. They feel lost without your presence. Um, a lot of these we saw in our TN Tarot on Monday, um, and that's so incredible to receive these same ones, but we have divine timing again, temp temperance. I want to come to you now, but we do know that things are going a little bit slower than intended. Um, they want to come to you. I'm following my heart guidance. The masculine has not revealed that they're finally going to follow their heart and they're, they're being guided by the spirit, spirit guide, to come towards you. Uh, the divine is helping me. The divine is helping your masculine, showing them the way, showing them what to do, you know, where to go, the best route, that kind of thing, because it is a little bit slower than they thought, but the masculine really wants to come to you. And here's that rapid action, I feel like, in that card, following my heart. So 
with this guidance, the divine is showing them um, the Akashic Records kind of deal. I'm connecting to all we were and will be. So the masculine is definitely waking up here. They're definitely seeing another side to this connection. Um, being fed this information through the divine and dreams and things like that. Time. I fear I'm running out of time. And that makes sense because we had that rapid action, right? That eight of wands and the masculine really, really wants to come in. They're trying really hard to fight this to come through to be with you. Fire, my very soul burns for you. The masculine soul is on fire for you. We have that desire, if you remember, and they're just really, really in your presence, in your energy. You're really in theirs. Um, and they're on fire for you right now. Their hearts, their souls, everything. What is the masculine not telling the feminine right now? Ooh, there's some confusion. Who's the masculine not telling the feminine? So they're having a lot of confusion, okay? The masculine doesn't know. Um, oh, I have another card over here from the deck. Um, the masculine doesn't know what decision to make. They're really confused. Um, this information they're being given by the divine can be a little bit hard for them to take in can be a little bit much um and so they're kind of that's why things are going real slow that's why they're kind of ghosting you they're still in separation because everything is so just chaotic right now in their minds but this card here um the love letters this was in our last reading as well i've written you full messages to send so many times but i can't bring myself to send them okay and this has a lot to do with fear the masculine has a lot of fear going on right now um it's something that's hard to contain something they need clarity you know things are just so confusing um so they've written you messages text messages emails a uh, literal letter for the old-fashioned ones um and went to go send it but backed up choked up you know couldn't do it we already have wheat from our pining rose love deck here so the masculine is very sad and we already saw that lonely right um i feel so lost without you they're sad um what is the masculine not telling the feminine what's going on in her life So again, another Divine Masculine card here, the Emperor. So there's a lot going on with their masculinity, a lot going on with their energy. They're trying to figure out who they are. Um, they still want to protect you, still want to provide for you. Your masculine is on fire for you. And then off curse, off curse, <laughs> off course. Um, something will bring them off course here. Um, there's maybe another door that could be opening up, an opportunity opening up for the connection, and they're going to take that route. They're going to take that opportunity to come towards you because, I mean, we have divine union, guys. So the masculine and you are headed towards a divine union together, um, and they need to kind of go off course. It's, they're going to do something completely and totally surprising, something that no one expects, Um you know, that breakup, that separation could definitely be something that's going on here in another situation. So they're going to do something pretty incredible and it's going to lead to this incredible um, union, reunion between the two of you where you guys meet up together, especially for those who have not been together in a while. I'm going to get our twin flame hunger here. What is the masculine not revealing to the feminine? Masculine not revealing to the feminine. All right. <laughs> I will soon come out of the dark. And if we, you remember what we had um, in our deck here, that divine timing, I want to come to you now. And then we had that eight of wands, which was all about that rapid action towards you, that desire to move towards you. I am deeply hurt by a betrayal, okay? So there is some kind of betrayal going on. Um, they're deeply hurt in their heart here. And if you remember, we had um, that 
that nine of swords and that was also about betrayal that's also about this anxiety um there's some kind of breakup maybe a breakup between the two of you before the separation um that has really caused a shift in the connection and they're coming back towards that though there was something that um they were hurt within themselves or in their hearts and um that's something currently holding them back from you but that's all going to change. I mean, the masculine wants to come towards you. Let's see, what else? What is the masculine not revealing to the feminine right now? This is our masculine mirror. What is the masculine? Ooh. All right. So we have, I'm devoted to you and you alone. The masculine is hopelessly devoted to you, feminine. They definitely want you, but they want you to take them as um, they are. Take me as I am. The masculine really wants you to accept them for who they are. And um, even though, you know, things might be different than what you expect, um, they definitely hope that you will accept them and that might be a fear something blocking i'm in free fall and i need you to ground me so the masculine needs balance again um they need some grounding here from you feminine if you just send them over some love energy send them over some energy to ground their energy it'll help them to not be so confused because they're a little confused right now in this connection and it definitely would help with um your healing feminine energy. We kept getting divine feminine empress. So um, they really need that right now. And it might help them to get even closer to you much faster and help them to get back on course. Um, so this is incredible to get these cards together for you guys. Um, but they're definitely just kind of falling out right now. They're just free falling and things are going as they will. And it's, you know, a little hard for them to grasp and hold on to anything physical. So definitely they need some grounding um, help here, but they are devoted to you. They are hopelessly in love and devoted, even though they might show otherwise. Divine Masculine, what is Masculine not revealing to the feminine? We want to feel... quite a few here okay so their feelings I'm hesitant to make you an offer yes they are hesitating um, because they're unaware of how you feel so the masculine is hesitating to talk to you to communicate or to do anything because they don't know how you feel they're unaware of your feelings and they're just real hesitant right now because of this <laughs> goody two shoes maybe your masculine is a little too goody okay they're playing by the rules playing by society's rules playing by the th um, three-dimensional rules and it makes it really hard for them to come to you because they're still playing these money games too um made of money so your mat i've gotten this twice already so your masculine um definitely could be dealing with money versus love or their career path and things like that that are holding them where they are um makes it hard they're hesitant to come towards you they're unaware of how you may feel about them right now um and they're concerned with their money but look at this i'm thinking of you right now so you are in the masculine's heart on the masculine's mind um they're deeply desiring you in many many ways right now and um <laughs> They're just, they're hesitant, but we've seen so many times in so many of these decks, I want to come to you. I need to be with you. Um, you know, I'm going to come out of the dark. I'm going to come out of the shadows to meet with you, to be with you. So their minds are, or their hearts are definitely saying otherwise from what their minds are making them hesitate and fear. What are five domestics from the masculine? What are they not telling the feminine?
I still have hope that we will be together. So regardless of what it seems like, regardless of the circumstances, the masculine still has that hope, um, those prayers, those wishes that you guys will be together. So they still have faith. They're still working on this. They have not forgotten you. The masculine has not moved on. They still have hope for this connection. The entity of the spirit messages, please. What the masculine is not saying to the feminine. All right, so currently your masculine is finding themselves in separation. And spirit wants to say, trust in the journey yourself in divine timing and the universe. So all of this, the divine is has been saying, I'm going to bring you guys together. Um, the divine has been trying to let the masculine know, trying to let you know, this is all being aligned for you guys to come together. Um, and the masculine is dealing with a lot of things in separation, trying to overcome their fears to come closer to you. So what is that energy with the masculine right now and the feminine? What's that energy? The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. And look at these two over there together. That reminds me of divine union, the two of cups. Um, the only thing that is real is love shift your focus back to love. So the masculine is going to shift their focus from uh, material things, shift their focus from money, whatever that might be, back to love, back to the feminine, back to you. Back to what you love. Reevaluate your desires. Oh my gosh. Feminines, this is so cool. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to back to love back to what you love, reevaluate your desires. So the masculine at one point was desiring money, desiring career, desiring another person that maybe they were codependent with, but that all is going to come down. All of that is going to be revealed here um, and no longer be an issue for you and the masculine. They're going to shift their focus back to that divine love. This is how you guys are going to come back together. They're going to go off course, completely surprising and take back that love that you guys deserve to be together. What is a confession from the DM? All right. So that was so cool. I want to be vulnerable with you. I'm just afraid you won't believe me. So the masculine definitely wants to be vulnerable with you, wants to let down their guard, let down the blocks, let down their walls, but they're afraid that after that chance that, you know, maybe they blew it with, um, that, you know, you won't believe them, that you won't take them back. So they're unaware of how you feel right now in regards to them, which is why they're hesitating, which is why they won't, they won't let go of you, but they won't come towards you because they don't know how you feel about them after the separation, after whatever happened. Um, but they definitely want you. They desire you. I mean, that's gonna, things are shifting in your connection. This is my masculine not revealing to the feminine. Okay, so we have two different messages here. Secret messages of your DM's heart. I have had lucid, uncontrollable dreams about you, and I could feel your every touch, kiss, and desire in my dreams. I have never had dreams like this with anyone else, and nothing compares. I want to dream about you again and make love to you there. So the masculine has had lucid dreams about you, which many twin flames do. Uncontrollable dreams that just... Um, Again, that fire was burning, right? Um, the flame is just on fire. Their soul is on fire for you. My very soul burns for you. And we have that with this lucid, uncontrollable dreams that they're having. And I love how this guidance here, right? I'm following my heart. And then we had the only thing that's real is love. Focus back on love and back to what you love and follow your heart. So that's awesome. And for um, a collective, some of you in here, they're still dealing dealing with the karmic relationship or marriage. And the masculine is saying, at the moment, I must honor the, those decisions that they're still married or in a relationship. And I have to wait until I learn my lessons before I can come to you. So there is a karmic in this situation, feminine. Your DM has some karmic lessons to learn. Focus your energy to you first and inner union and your DM will come to you. So your DM will be ready to come to you. They need to focus back to love. They need to focus on union. You focus yourself feminine on inner union and focus on yourself 
and that'll bring your masculine back to you as well. Um, so I really, gosh, that's so amazing. Focus on love. Focus back to what you want. Focus back to the um, the true heart, the true union, which is with your masculine, with the feminine, which is together, okay? Focus on that and the rest will naturally come. That divine timing, you know, um, the divine is bringing all of this together for you guys. The divine is lining everything up so that you guys can come to divine union. So I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so, so much for the support. Again, um, like, share, and subscribe. If you are new, um, hit the notifications for new readings for your tea and tarot on, I might change it to Tuesdays to kind of match the tea on Tuesday. Um, for your Fantasy Fridays, Masculine Mondays, that kind of deal, um, you'll get all those up-to-date new readings. Um, browse around my channel for more videos if you want more. My decks are on Etsy, these new ones that I have here on sale. Make sure you clip that coupon code in the description. Love you all. Appreciate you all. Blessings uh, this week. And comment below again what you want me to do on that subscriber milestone. Do you want decks? Do you want readings? Do you want what kind of reading you want me to do? Thanks so much, guys, and blessings.